Hi and welcome to week 22 of economics. So um, we're going to be exploring four critical topics that shed light on key aspects of economic theory and policy. We're going to be looking at the causes of inflation, the factors contributing to poverty, the costs and benefits of U.S. economic policy related to equity, and we're going to examine the sources of government authority to tax. So inflation is the steady rise in the general price level of goods and services, which can be attributed to several key causes. One would be demand pull inflation. This occurs when aggregate demand exceeds aggregate, aggregate supply, leading to upward pressure on prices due to increased consumer spending. Second would be co co cost push inflation, which arises when production costs such as wages or raw materials rise, causing businesses to pass on higher costs to consumers through price increases. Third would be monetary factors. So inflation can also be fueled by excessive money supply growth, leading to an increase in overall demand and prices. And we're actually seeing this today in the current environment. So understanding these causes helps policymakers implement effective strategies to manage inflation and stabilize the economy. Moving on to the next topic, poverty. So poverty is defined as the condition of lacking basic necessities and resources. It is, of course, influenced by a multitude of factors. Those are structural, so it can result from systemic inequalities in access to education employment opportunities, healthcare, and social services. There are economic factors such as unemployment, low wages, and economic downturns, all of which contribute to the persistence of poverty for many individuals and families. And third would be, of course, social and cultural factors. So discrimination, marginalization, and the intergenerational cycles of poverty can perpetuate the prevalence of poverty within certain communities. So addressing the root cause, causes of poverty requires comprehensive strategies that tackle both structural and systemic barriers to economic opportunity and social mobility. Third, we're going to be looking at economic policies aimed at promoting equity, uh, which of course both entail uh, costs and benefits. So the costs. Um, policies aimed at reducing income inequality and promoting social justice may involve higher taxation rates on high income individuals and corporations, potentially reducing invest incentives for investment and economic growth. The benefits, however, are inequitable economic policies um, excuse me, equitable economic policies can lead to a more inclusive and resilient economy with broader access to education, healthcare, and opportunities for upward mobility, fostering long term economic stability and social cohesion. Balancing the costs and benefits of economic policies related to equity is essential for promoting sustainable and inclusive economic growth. Finally, we're going to talk about the sources of government authority to tax. So we have constitutional authority. It is enshrined in a country's constitution, granting the government the legal authority to levy taxes for the public good. There is the legislative authority, uh, where power comes from, uh, is defined and delegated through laws enacted by the legislative branch of government specifying the types of taxes, rates, and collection procedures. And fiscal policy, of course, taxation is a key tool of fiscal policy, allowing the government to raise revenue to fund public services, redistribute wealth, and stabilize the economy. So these sources of authority provide the legal and institutional framework for taxation, ensuring the government's ability to fulfill its responsibility and obligation to society. So I want to thank you for following along. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you next week. Thank you.